The Mysterious Disappearance of Amelia Earhart, 10 Theories Blending Fact and Fiction The disappearance of Amelia Earhart in 1937 has spawned a plethora of theories over the decades, ranging from the plausible to the wildly speculative. We blend the most credible theories with some of the most incredible to present a comprehensive overview of the enduring mystery surrounding Earhart's fate. Number 1. Crash and Sink Theory The crash and sink theory is predicated on the assumption that Amelia Earhart and her navigator, Fred Noonan, were unable to locate Holland Island, their next scheduled refueling stop, and ultimately exhausted their fuel reserves, leading to a catastrophic descent into the Pacific Ocean. This hypothesis is bolstered by Earhart's final transmissions, in which she communicated her dwindling fuel status and difficulty in spotting the island. Despite the mobilization of a massive search operation shortly after their disappearance, spearheaded by the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard, no tangible evidence of their Lockheed Electra aircraft or their remains has been uncovered in the vast expanse of the ocean. The extensive nature of the search efforts, which at the time was the most expensive in history, amounted to over $4 million, equivalent to more than $70 million today, and involved combing thousands of square miles of ocean, yet failed to yield any trace of Earhart or Noonan. This absence of physical evidence has neither confirmed nor refuted the theory, leaving it as a plausible yet unproven explanation. Number 2. Gardner Island Hypothesis The Gardner Island Hypothesis posits that Earhart and Noonan, having failed to locate Howland Island, might have made an emergency landing on Nakumararo Island, formerly known as Gardner Island, situated within the Phoenix Islands in the western Pacific Ocean. This theory gained traction in the latter half of the 20th century and has been supported by various expeditions, notably by the International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery, TIRE. TIRE's investigations have unearthed several artifacts on Nikumararo that could potentially be linked to Earhart and Noonan, including a piece of plexiglass that may match the Electra's windows, an American woman's shoe from the 1930s, and a sextant box similar to the one Noonan was known to use. Furthermore, analysis of photographs taken three months after Earhart's disappearance revealed what might be the landing gear of her aircraft protruding from the waters off the island's reef. Despite these intriguing findings, no definitive evidence has been conclusively tied to Earhart or her aircraft, and subsequent searches have not managed to locate the Electra's wreckage. The hypothesis suggests that Earhart and Noonan could have survived as castaways for a time before eventually succumbing to the island's harsh conditions, a theory supported by reports of bones found on the island in 1940, though these remains were later lost before they could be definitively analyzed. Number 3. Japanese Capture Theory The theory that Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan were captured by Japanese forces stems from their disappearance near the Marshall Islands, then under Japanese control. Some believe they were taken as spies, with locals and later witnesses claiming to have seen them in Japanese custody. A photograph from the National Archives, purported to show Earhart and Noonan in the Marshall Islands, added fuel to this theory, though its authenticity and relevance have been questioned. Despite these claims and alleged sightings in Saipan, where they were supposedly imprisoned, concrete evidence remains elusive, and both US and Japanese governments have denied any record of their capture. This theory, fascinating as it is, relies on circumstantial evidence and remains unproven. Number 4. The Spy Mission Theory Another theory suggests Amelia Earhart's flight was not just an attempt at circumnavigation but also a covert espionage mission for the U.S. government to survey Japanese military installations in the Pacific. Speculation is fueled by the considerable support Earhart received from the U.S. government and suggestions that her plane could have been equipped for surveillance. However, this theory lacks solid evidence, no documents or testimonies conclusively support the idea of Earhart's flight having espionage objectives. The theory diverges from Earhart's public persona as an aviator and advocate for women in aviation, leaving it more in the realm of speculation than fact. Number 5. Secret New Identity Theory The theory suggests Amelia Earhart survived and returned to the U.S. with a new identity, popularized by the book Amelia Earhart Lives by Joe Kloss. It claimed Earhart became Irene Craigmile Bolam to avoid public attention after a secret mission. This theory faced significant scrutiny, Irene Bolam herself legally refuted the claim, leading to the book's withdrawal. Forensic and photographic analyses further debunked the theory, 
showing no substantial evidence linking Bolam to Earhart. The lack of credible proof and Bolam's own denial make this theory largely discredited among experts. Number 6. The Drunken Navigator Theory. This theory speculates that Fred Noonan, Earhart's navigator known for past alcohol issues, was intoxicated during their final flight, impairing his navigation abilities. However, there's no evidence from their final journey to suggest Noonan was under the influence or that his potential intoxication contributed to their disappearance. Critics argue this theory undermines Noonan's professionalism and the absence of any factual basis or mention of navigation problems in Earhart's last transmissions. Given Noonan's reputation for meticulous planning and the critical role of his skills in the flight's execution, this theory is widely dismissed by historians and aviation experts. Number 7. Eaten by Giant Crabs Theory. This grim theory suggests that Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan, after crash landing on Nicomararo Island, were potentially consumed by coconut crabs, known for their significant size and scavenging abilities. The speculation is rooted in the crabs' known behavior to investigate and consume anything edible, coupled with their capability to exert a force strong enough to break coconuts, making it plausible they could scatter human remains. This theory is particularly haunting as it implies that even if Earhart and Noonan survived the initial crash, their remains might have been obliterated, leaving no trace for searchers. However, despite several expeditions to Nakumararo Island, which have uncovered items of interest but none conclusively linked to Earhart or Noonan, the theory remains unverified, a testament to the enduring mystery and the challenging nature of finding evidence decades after the fact. Number 8. Amelia Earhart as a nurse on Guadalcanal. This imaginative theory proposes that Amelia Earhart survived her flight's disappearance and assumed a new life as a nurse on Guadalcanal, blending into history away from her famed aviator past. It suggests a complete departure from her known life trajectory, embracing a narrative of resilience and anonymity. This theory taps into the universal appeal of survival stories and the possibility of starting over under a new identity. However, without any documented evidence of Earhart receiving nursing training, expressing a desire for such a career change, or credible sightings of her post-disappearance, this theory remains a fascinating but unsubstantiated footnote. It underscores the human desire for resolution and the appeal of speculative solutions to unresolved mysteries, even when such solutions stray far from the available evidence. Number 9. Amelia Earhart faked her death for love. This theory, more aligned with the plot of a romantic novel than historical evidence, speculates that Amelia Earhart orchestrated her disappearance to escape the public eye and start anew with Fred Noonan. It implies a dramatic departure from her celebrated career in aviation and her marriage to George Putnam. The narrative suggests that Earhart, supposedly disillusioned with her fame or seeking personal happiness away from societal expectations, chose an extreme method to reinvent her life. However, this theory significantly undermines Earhart's well-documented passion for flying and her pioneering achievements in aviation. It also overlooks the strong evidence of her commitment to her marriage and public role. The lack of any substantial evidence to support this theory, coupled with its dismissal of Earhart's character and historical record, renders it more a work of fiction than a credible hypothesis. Number 10. Earhart became a New Jersey banker. Emerging from the controversial book Amelia Earhart Lives by Joe Kloss, this theory claims Earhart survived her final flight and lived incognito as a New Jersey banker named Irene Bolam. The theory took root from a supposed resemblance between Bolam and Earhart, leading to widespread speculation and media attention. However, this theory was thoroughly debunked when Irene Bolam, a real person with her own distinct life history, vehemently denied being Earhart and took legal action against the book's authors and publishers. Forensic analysis and historical research have further discredited the notion, highlighting significant differences in their life stories, physical appearances, and timelines. The theory was largely seen as a sensational attempt to capitalize on the mystery of Earhart's disappearance, lacking any factual basis and disrespecting both Earhart's legacy and Bolam's privacy, 